Start the overhaul process by removing the head from the shaft of the tool. Look inside the head for any debris that may have gotten lodged in the jets. Now remove the weep seal from the inlet nut. Remove the o-ring from the inlet nut and then pry out the shaft seal. Pull out the brass seat and the plastic high pressure seal. Pull out the wave spring and slide off the outer centralizer. You can now pour out the old viscous fluid into an appropriate receptacle. Pay attention to the fluid coming out of the tool. If the fluid has any water mixed in, you will want to look at the remaining inner parts for any rust or corrosion, and also realize that you will need to do the preventive maintenance more often. Once the fluid is drained out of the tool, you can remove the shaft and bearings. This may require a bench press. Separate the bearings from the shaft. Pry out the shaft seal from the body. Now take all the individual parts and clean and inspect them for reassembly. There are a few parts that I would like to take a closer look at. Be sure that the inside diameter of the body is smooth and has no grooves. Look at the shaft and inspect the seal bore and outer grooves for any burrs. Inspect the inlet nut by making sure that the seal face is smooth and has no pits or grooves. With each bearing, be sure that they spin freely by hand with little resistance or wobbling. Now we are ready to reassemble the tool.